Hi everyone, this is Ankush from It's First and in this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to download Steam and enable Steam Play or Proton. Before doing anything, ensure that your system is up to date. You can do that with the command sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. You can enter the commands separately or join them together as shown in this video. Next. You can choose to download Steam's dev package from the official website or get the snap from the software center. If you prefer the terminal like us, first enable the multiverse repository in Ubuntu. Once you add the repository using the command add apt repository multiverse shown here, you will have to update the repo list of your system using apt update command next. Now you can enter the command to install Steam sudo apt install steam and this should install steam on your system no matter how you install steam launch it from the app menu it may update it to the latest version available automatically next log in to your account using the credentials or the qr code and you are golden once you have logged in it's time to explore the Steam store and download the games that you like to play. Well, the Steam store looks just like the website. It's just a different interface on your computer where you get to manage the library, access the community, access some settings and all. Everything else is just the same as you would explore the games on the website. You can explore a game you want to try, purchase it if needed and then just hit install to download and get it installed. Of course, if the game supports Linux natively, it should run without Steam Play. And that's the reason you just saw 8-bit MMO as the game run flawlessly without needing to fiddle with any settings. But for the next game that we're gonna try, which will be a Windows only game, you need to enable Steam Play. For that, you have to head to the Steam settings, navigate your way to the compatibility menu, and enable Steam Play for all titles. This would ensure that you can try any Windows specific game without needing to check if it runs well with Steam Play or not. Of course, if you want to be sure before utilizing the bandwidth to download something, you can head to protondb.com and check the rating for the particular game. If it is a rated silver or above, you can give it a try. Note that the ratings are not a guarantee that it will work as it still depends on your hardware configuration and drivers installed. Here, Zombie Blocks to Open Alpha is a Windows specific game. So, we're gonna try it after enabling the setting. As you can see in this example, Zombie Blocks 2 is an open alpha game and a Windows specific game, but it works just fine and we were able to play it. Similarly, you can try many other games that could work way better considering they have been available for a while. Of course, the user experience may differ from game to game, but with the Steam Play, you can play any Windows native game on Linux. And that's the best thing about Steam Play. Want us to cover some other tutorials next? Let us know your suggestions in the comments below.